Hello and welcome to The Purple States. I'm Evan Lucas and this is our special for the US presidential election for Go Markets. As always, please have a good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any full advice at all. It's just general in nature only. We are here, the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, the one that really matters. It has the highest amount of electoral college votes out of the seven with 19, and it really does matter, particularly for Harris. This blue wall state is an absolute must win. Looking at them, it's quite fascinating to see where it currently sits. From 1992 to 2012, it was a democratic state. It is why it's referred to as the blue wall. And the other thing to talk about there is, if you go all the way back to 1976, it chose the electoral candidate every time, barring 2000 and 2004, when it held blue and we saw the Bush administration in twice in a row. That was when we got to 2016 and it flipped. It flipped to Donald Trump only by a tiny, tiny margin. And I need to make it very clear, it was 45,000 votes that he won in a state that has over 8 million people that can vote in it. In 2020, it flipped the other way to Biden by 80,000 votes. And that is why it is so razor thin. So what matters to those in Pennsylvania? What is going to move the dial? First and foremost, it's like everything. The cost of living crisis is absolutely playing out, particularly in the west part of the state, in that rust part, the part that's very close to Ohio, very much feels that pain. And if you listen to what they're talking about very clearly, it is very much moving back towards Trump. The rumors and the discussions from all of the focus groups is around this idea that in 2016 through 20, they knew what they got. They had lower prices and that's why they're going to vote for Trump. That's what you're hearing on the ground. Then you go to the East Coast and you look at places like Pittsburgh, you look at places like Philadelphia and they are going bluer. The question is how much can those two ginormous cities overrun what's going on in the rural region? Because the other part that was so clear in 2016 is that the disenfranchised white middle-class male voter absolutely drove themselves towards Trump and that held true in 2020. So that will be the discussion on the demographics. The next part to look at Penn is that Pennsylvania had an ace card for the Democrats in 2020. Joe Biden, he's born there, raised there, and he's a very, very proud Pennsylvanian local. That doesn't happen this time around with Harris, and that is why it's on an absolute knife's edge, because whoever wins Pennsylvania will basically win the whole thing. It is why at the moment the Democrats in the last week alone have spent $156 billion in advertising, and it's only getting faster. You will continue to see this state to be the only thing that matters leading up to the 5th of November. That is why Pennsylvania is the key state and the one to watch. And realistically, out of the purples, it's the only one that matters.